Hi everybody, Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, the DRF Bets race of the day for Sunday, August the 25th. Race number eight at Del Mar, it's the $100,000 shared belief stakes for three-year-olds going a two-turn mile. You can play this race and the nice Del Mar card on Sunday with a DRF Bets account. Sign up at drf.com forward slash bet, access a $100 deposit match. Let's meet the field for the shared belief. You can access free formulator past performances for this race on the race of the day event page at drf.com. Download them and handicap along with us. We'll take the field in post position order. And Mike, this field was supposed to include Omaha Beach, who was the Kentucky Derby favorite before missing the race due to illness and injury. And guess what? He's on the shelf again. Maybe we'll see him in the awesome again. Yeah, maybe we will. It'd be nice to get him back to the races since, um, as far as I can tell, he's the greatest horse in training. <laughs> The number one is street class coming off a maiden win at Del Mar, winning over this distance and showing improved early speed. And I thought they were going a quick clip. According to Timeform US, that was a red bar fast pace scenario. Street class was up close to the pace, held him off late. Didn't think it was the greatest field in the world, but a good building block and a nice inside post. Yeah, I agree with that. He's hit the board in all six of his starts. He's pretty good. He comes off a maiden win. It feels like they're just, you know, taking a shot. He's got to improve by a lot against a couple of these horses, though. The number two, seven cents is already a winner around two turns winning the maiden at los alamitos going a mile then ended up multiple stakes play sprinting before a foray on the turf for the last three races getting back to dirt i wouldn't be surprised if this horse shows a little bit of speed but does he class up i don't know if he classes up but there's a chance that he takes a step forward here i mean he's good on turf he's good on dirt he's very versatile he can get the distance there are things to like about this horse it just it feels like a tough spot for him it's the class quiz for the number three, King Jack. Undefeated from only two lifetime starts, Timeform US believes that the stretch out sprinter King Jack will make the early lead in this race. I liked what I saw last time going seven furlongs from King uh, Jack. He set a multi-horse pace uh, with there were three of the horses involved in the pace battle. He was off the rail. A horse took a good run at him down towards the inside. And really, Mike Smith never got busy on him. He just kind of hand rode him through the stretch. He galloped out way ahead of the field. He's going to be on the lead. He's going to be facing a real horse for the first time. Yeah, it's a, it's a big uh, challenge for him, but he's run well in both of his starts. And I agree with your take on his last race. He seemed to win that race uh, with something in reserve. Um, and you know, when you start going through the horses, the figure kind of makes sense too. I don't think it's necessarily an inflated figure. So um, it suggests that he can go with these horses. This is a tougher race, but I'm not going to be surprised if he's up for it. Stubbins main victory on the dirt came in a sloppy edition of the Pasadena, where basically he just ran away and hid from a bunch of turf forces. They ran him in the UAE Derby off that effort. He was far from embarrassed. I liked his turf sprint return going up against Eddie Haskell as the only three year old in the field. He was running a little bit at the end. I expected more out of him last time out in the La Jolla at five to two he was no match for kingly personally i think he's a turf horse uh, yeah i think he might be a turf horse i also wonder how far he wants to go and I, I feel like all of his good races are sprints um the mile i guess he can get the mile but i still prefer him sprinting lieutenant dan is very versatile whether it be on turf or on dirt he has the speed to push king jack according to the time form u.s pace projector and he went fast last time out in the real good deal going seven furlongs and he put away a decent enough horse in oliver who came back to win his very next start a good trip should be coming for lieutenant dan and something tells me be the mile's going to be within his scope. I would worry a little bit about it, but yeah, if he can get the mile, he, he's a contender in here, I think. I liked his race last time. I thought he ran well. I am, I, maybe I'm more concerned than you are about him stretching out. Let's take a look at our top selections for this year's shared belief. Steve Anderson in his DRF advance brought up something that I completely forgot. Improbable was the favorite in the Kentucky Derby. Improbable was the yeah. favorite in the Preakness. Improbable is going to be the favorite in the shared belief. And it's not like he ran terribly in both of those races, the Derby or the Preakness. Uh, this looks like a reboot for Bob Baffert, just finding a nice spot to get the confidence. I think he has enough speed to sit third. He should be in prime position turning for home, and he's way the horse to beat, isn't he? Yeah, I think he, he is. Um, you know, I, I agree that he ran fine in both the Derby and the Preakness. I thought he ran better in the Derby than he did in the Preakness, and he's had time since then. 
I don't know. He's just way of the horse to beat here. The mile feels like a way better distance for him. He's a grade one winner as a two-year-old in the low Sal Futurity, and he's done some nice things at three. He's the horse to beat. I'm curious to see if King Jack is the real deal. I'd like him to be aggressively sent out of the gate. Yeah. Let's see if he can dissuade Lieutenant Dan and hold off Improbable off the layoff. I went 3-6. Where'd you go? Yeah, I went 6-3. It is the Shared Belief Stakes. It is the Sunday DRF Bets Race of the Day, and you can get involved with a DRF Bets account. Sign up, grab that $100 in deposit match, and start firing away. Go to drf.com forward slash bet for all the details. Approximate post time for the Shared Belief, 530 Pacific. Best of luck.